What's up guys? My name is Jason Lee, real estate investor here in San Diego. Behind me is a real piece of shit that I'm buying. <laughs> in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it too and make a ton of money doing it. So the first thing you should know about this deal is the story behind it. It's a seller that's extremely absentee. She's owned it for a very long time. I think she inherited it. Basically, this property's been vacant for three years. It got flooded really badly like three years ago. Homeless people were breaking in constantly after tenants moved out. So that's what you can see behind me. It's all boarded up. All the doors are boarded up. We just went inside. You'll see later in the video. We had to like unscrew the doors to break the boards to get in. The seller is extremely like crazy, crazy stubborn. She thinks her property's worth like a million two but like that's what it's worth fixed up i'm buying it right now for about eight hundred thousand dollars and a change so hopefully after we put in like around 200 to 300 grand worth of renovations we can sell it for somewhere between like 1.3 and 1.4 million in the beginning of the video i told you how you can do this too and the way you can do this is to partner with someone like me who either find the deal or find the money for you, we can do a deal together. So if you're in San Diego, if you're anywhere and you find a great deal like this, I'm happy to help you partner, find the money, find the deal, find the debt and make this thing happen. Because honestly, if you have the relationships, you can make anything happen in real estate. Let's do a little deep dive of what this kind of property looks like inside. So let's go see inside right now. Yeah. And they're all like the same size units. Obviously, nothing worse. It's been sitting vacant for over three years. So, we're talking about bringing it down to the studs, yeah. rewiring, re plumbing, whatever's needed, I guess. Like, we're going to assume that. The work, yeah, we'll assume, every, we'll assume it needs every single major system uh, replaced. Yeah, but. Yeah, that's bad. So you got mold. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all twos? Oh my god. Yeah, all two ones. <laughs> hey, uh, Jason, so yeah. things like HVAC, do you want just the wall here? Or no, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, okay. it's so the full back one's here. All right, we can get out. All right, cool. How about this railing? Uh, the railing? I think it's okay. I think it's all right. Can we secure it? You, you're better asking him these questions. If it was me, I'd tear this up down and make sure. But I, I, think you, 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 oh, I think it's fine. I think the bones are okay. okay. I know, I think that. Okay. I just, stuff like this is kind of like. So yeah, hey Jason, this is definitely where yeah, someone's been getting in there. Someone's getting in there. Possible. Yeah. I mean, what are we doing with all the landscape around this? Tearing all this shit down and clean it all up, right? I'm yeah. Sure. yeah. I'm just thinking that like they might call us on it to yeah. do it. I mean, if we have a couple permits to the city, like will they still flag it or like if no. we pull nothing, they'll probably flag it. But if we pull like some of the electrical or the plumbing, yeah, like yeah, yeah. is that good enough? You think? Yeah, uh, over the counter permit. But those still take forever right now, right? Yeah, as a contractor, we can pull them online if it's job time. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do it right as much as possible. So here's how we found the property, because finding the deal is the most important part in real estate. Once you find the deal, anything else you can make happen. How we found it, it was off market, never went on the MLS. She didn't want to list it. She didn't want anyone seeing the property was for sale but she had a price in her head of $900,000. And we said, all right, well, that's fine. But she thought it was worth 1.2, but she's like, oh, since there's no one living here and it's this beat up, cause it needs everything. It needs like new doors, kitchens, bathrooms, electrical, plumbing. It needs everything. When she told us that, we're like, okay, that price can make sense. And after seeing the inside and walking the area, I was like, there's no way we can pay $900,000 for this. Anyone in here? <laughs> Probably not. She told us to cancel escrow, so we almost didn't get the deal. But one day, like a week ago, she got a call from the bank saying that they're about to foreclose on the property because she hasn't paid her loan in a very long time. So the property's actually in pre-foreclosure. Now she has some motivation to sell it because she needs some cash in her pocket because she can't pay the loan. We're paying a fair price, $800,000. I mean, this thing needs so much work, so much time so much headache the price we're paying and the amount of work that it needs as you can see i think it's a very fair win-win deal that's the backstory of how we found the property so how do we finance the property so very simple when you buy a property like this a typical bank like chase bank or a fannie mae lender they won't 
do this kind of low because it's too beat up. There's too much risk involved, right? Anyone in here? <laughs> Probably not. Someone could be over here? Yeah, they went through the plaza. There's a map back here. What we're doing is we're getting a private money loan from a local lender I know in town. He's also been a partner of mine for a long time. So we're putting 15% down on this property and they're going to finance the construction. So we're putting very little down. We're putting like in like around like 100 to 125K and then the rest will be covered by the loan. So the private money lender, they're covering everything. They're covering the purchase and they're covering like the 300K renovation costs. So this is the loan you want to get if you're looking to buy a fix and flip like this, even though it's a high interest loan, it's like 10 and a half percent interest only, which is high, but not that much higher because rates are crazy right now. Rates are at like seven and a half percent for permanent loan for regular financing. So we're only gonna hold the loan for about three months and then refinance it or sell it. If you're looking to learn more about the property, let me know and I'm happy to help you on any questions you have. So you can do this yourself and make a ton of money in real estate. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was clear and concise on how you can do it yourself. And if you want more free real estate investing and brokerage content, feel free to subscribe to Jason Joseph Lee and watch the next video in this corner or this corner to keep learning on your journey. Thank you.